Good afternoon, dear colleagues, dear chairman. Today, I'm going to talk about a uh, pressing issue, the work of uh, oncology centers of, for outpatient work. I would like to talk about uh, our um, uh, center, outpatient center, Petrov Research Center. You know that the main regulatory document is the decree of the Ministry of Health number 1915, which says that um, the first stage of treatment is the oncology room and oncology ward. And uh, another decree number 48 changed the second point of the document, saying that the first treatment should can be also given in um, outpatient uh, settings, in outpatient centers. So the centers of uh, oncology outpatient centers are not trusted to work with the patient to uh, take biopsy samples and if biopsy is not possible then the um, addressing of the patient to specific centers that allow ta taking biopsy then symptomatic rehabilitation, palliative, anti-pain and consulting type of assistance, especially assistance to doctors who are not specialized in oncology. And then prescription of various drugs, including narc narcotic and psychotropic drugs, and prescription of um, uh, giving the uh, prescriptions to patients and also various organizing functions and methodological functions. According to the decree, the centers of outpatient treatment is a structural institution and uh, it has to be created in centers um, where there are more than 5,000, uh, 50,000 inhabitants. Uh, X-ray equipment should be provided, also CT, endoscopy, ultrasound equipment, and also rooms for uh, receiving patients and, uh, of course, administration rooms too. As for the Center of Outpatient Oncology Assistant, it has to give assistance and um, should have specialists uh, of uh, non-oncological specializations, gynecologists, gastroenterologists, dermatologists. If these specialists are not available, then specialists can be um, invited to work on contract. Here you see that the center of outpatient treatment and they accept multidisciplinary approach. I would like to say that in Petrov um, Oncology Center, the understanding of the need for this uh, un multidisciplinary um, treatment has a long tradition. The Clinic uh, Institute of Oncology has uh, is quite distant from St. Petersburg. Uh, it is in Pisochny um, region, and uh, so in central region, uh, they decided to establish this oncology center to help the patients uh, to make it more uh, visible and available for the patients. So the task was to uh, provide consulting, screening, early diag diagnosis, and then the patients 
were chosen for inpatient treatment. Patients were provided with pre-surgery uh, treatment, then drug therapy, anti-pain therapy, and um, the patients were examined regularly in these centers. So they had a lot of organizational and methodological uh, functions too. As for the structure of the center, there, there are eight receiving rooms, one, uh, two procedure rooms for taking bi biopsy, then ultrasound room, mammography, endoscopy, and um, uh, others. Here you see ultrasound room, endoscopy, mammography, this is the room for chemotherapy, and this is for taking room for taking bi biopsy materials. So, to make sure that the treatment is comfortable, uh, we chose we've chosen this uh, uh, regimen. We've chosen the schedule. So the center is open even in uh, on weekends and on holidays. As for the staff of the structure, besides um, on oncologists, uh, there are many specialists in different areas. The majority of the specialists have um, second oncology education most of them. So as for the results of our consulting work, we observe increase in number of uh, uh, patients and um, in general in 2018, 24,640 patients were treated in the center and the specialists uh, who do not have this um, oncolo oncological specialization, um, they were visited quite often because uh, in many cases in oncology centers, patients cannot uh, have treatment and help in these uh, areas, in other areas of treatment. So this is the dynamics of the consultations, uh, the number of consultations and also uh, medical treatment. We, we see the positive dynamics in our center. Therefore, we decided to create another consulting diagnostic center that was opened in um, 2019 in the southern part of St. Petersburg. The structure of the outpatient uh, treatment uh, now includes three centers on the in the north of St. Petersburg. Outpatient assistance is given in a hospital. In central district of St. Petersburg, the first consulting diagnostic center works, and in the south of St. Petersburg, a newly created center number two uh, gives assistance to patients. This is for, uh, all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, uh, we have some time. If you would like, we could uh, make some kind of discussion. Is there a microphone? And there is no help around. Lilia Mikhailovna Rabova from Tomsk Oncological Center. So, this type of centers are they structural departments of your center or are they autonomous centers? Yes, um, they they are consulting centers 
of the research institute uh, named after Pit Petrov. So these are structural divisions of the center. So my question is about the funding. There is a um, schedule for this division with invited specialists, uh, consultants and specialists of various areas. Do they uh, they are, they work in the staff or with a contract? So, and um, the document that uh, your work is based on is the um, this new uh, decree number forty eight. Uh, no, the center was created in two thousand twelve, but this new decree and. The uh, this additional point was cr uh, created in 2018. So what I wanted to say is that the um, um, this multidisciplinary work of the center is um, in demand. So better sooner than later. So it's good that the decree was written in 2018. It's wonderful. But um, and uh, this type of work uh, is very much uh, in need needed. So is it um, is it um, um, ambulatory work, is it outpatient work or uh, is it inpatient work? So uh, we all know that uh, these surgeries require a lot of funding. Therefore, many hospitals, um, many hospitals provide this care in um, day inpatient care. So that the funding funding can be given by the, by the hospitals because regional funds cannot cover uh, the the whole demand of for for this type of uh, treatment this type of care and uh, all type of uh, supply is given by the inpatient hospitals so the first question was about uh, small surgeries. In all types of invasive operations uh, that require IV uh, sedation are done in um, um, in special centers. And uh, as for outpatient care, we don't have a day inpatient care, as this is uh, some kind of an artificial form. Uh, to uh, uh, adjust documentations and reports so that they um, are in tune with the regulations. But in real life, uh, everything uh, happens in outpatient centers. So they come with their own uh, drugs and they're gi uh, given assistance. Good afternoon. How um, many places are there for the patients? What is the number of the um, uh, patient uh, rooms? So th there are 10 chairs <coughs> and four in the second one, 10 in the center that is located in the north and four that is located in the south. How many, how, how much time a patient can spend in this type of uh, centers? So what is the uh, maximum period? This depends on the chemotherapy uh, regimen. There are long-term treatment um, schemes and short-term. It depends on the scheme of the treatment. So he can spend the 10 or 12 hours. Um, I wouldn't say 12 hours because um, there are special 
divisions for that where they can get long infusions and uh, pumps and uh, the patients receive this these pumps and it's uh, much more convenient than to stay in the outpatient hospital center for a long time as for the pills do patients receive these pills uh, each day when they come daily to your center uh, no we um, we don't have this task so we do not provide uh, pills to the patients they usually get the pills in their local hospitals but uh, we provide only consulting and another question do you provide teas and toxicological therapy of course the patients can come one day for the administration of the anti-tumor drugs um, but the next day if he feels bad that then he can get infusion therapies uh, we uh, try to take care of our patients and we um, help them in a complex way we don't leave them alone more questions thank you for nice presentation this is the order of interaction of oncological center with palliative um, center At certain days uh, there is a doctor who receives uh, uh, patients uh, and uh, the doctor is specializing in um, pain so it is outpatient if there is a palliative assistance and it's about pain. We have a room of anti-pain treatment and there is a specialist uh, you know, working on it. If we talk about the patients uh, who need hospitalization, they are sent to the uh, city institution hospice, which has all the capacities. As to the recipes, yes, they are prescribed according to the legislation. Colleagues, just the last question. I'm interested in the sources of financing for such group of patients, commercial medical services and uh, voluntary medical insurance. 